Valentine's Day for kids usually means swapping cute cards and candy, but this year, let's take it up a notch here to show us some fun and educational Valentine's themes experiments is Lori Larson from Mad Science. Lori, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. I am showing you some cooking experiments Perfect. here. Perfect. So I'm going to start with making your own butter. So this is a little jar of about half a cup of cream. Okay. You want to shake that? You just shake it. Yeah. And then this is what it turns out looking like. If you want to make it pink for Valentine's Day, you could add, um, you could actually coloring. add raspberry to it or you could oh. actually just add food coloring to raspberry it. Raspberry butter sounds delicious. And you would want to add some salt to it. Okay. Or it won't have much flavor. <laughs> but uh, that is a cool experiment. It takes about 15 minutes of shaking it. It's crazy how little time that is. Give yes. this to a kid that's rambunctious, yeah. you know, your kid that won't sit still. <laughs> make some butter. <laughs> and yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> Perfect. So we're also going to make ice cream here. So My they favorite can make food, their own. food group. Yeah. So um, I would say about a half a cup of the cream again. Just right into it. Now you can, into yeah, right into the bag. This is double bag. Okay. I'm going to put some sugar in this, about two tablespoons. All good things have sugar. And right. some raspberries. Fresh raspberries. And you, you can put, put anything. some chocolate chips in there. I also, this is a fruit compote. Okay. Um, made with xylitol, so it's sugar free. Mm. That's another option. And you just want to seal those bags. Make sure they're good and closed. This is a bag of yes. ice, and right? This is a bag of ice. Ice and salt, I'm assuming. I haven't added the salt yet. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to just add some rock salt to that. Perfect. That helps with the temperature. And the reason why you uh, use something that you can agitate it with uh -huh. is because. You want so like to make little around. crystals of ice inside the ice cream. If it's big, then you have what more like what a slushy tastes like. Got but it. you it's want more crunchy. that creamy, that mm. creamy, tasty stuff. Okay. You just let the kids play with it and play with it. <laughs> you can put a towel around it. You can do whatever you want. Perfect to do that. Talk to me about why experiments like this in your kitchen are so good for your kids. Well, science is so hands-on, and cooking itself is, mm -hmm. is science. There's an art to it, but it's also very much science. Learning about those crystal sizes. So learning and, yeah. Chemical all, processes. All the chemical processes, all of the physical processes that mm -hmm. happen in cooking. Cool. And it's what we want. Let me just show you real quick. I'll do this. This is one I made last night. And you can just cut that off. It looks delicious. And so this is the ice cream, pour right? Pour it into the... Oh, okay, Yum. that was messy. Messy is good. Look at that. <laughs> when you're doing with kids, yes, messy is good. A lot Yum. of chocolate there. Okay, now on my last one, this is my, this is. Um, I'm seeing some dry ice. Dry here. ice. We all love dry ice. Love, Our dry, kids ice, love dry ice, which is carbon dioxide. A lot of times when I'm doing a show with dry ice, uh -huh. I talk about do you drink carbon dioxide? <laughs> and um, you'll get a few kids that will raise their hands. And uh, then I'll say, who drinks soda? <laughs> and then everybody says, oh, I drink soda. And so they know that, th that we are actually drinking carbon dioxide. Cool. And somebody has taken this carbon dioxide and put it under pressure and made it in Perfect. To a, into a solid. Oh, so now fun. This is just. And then, of course, it bubbles and foams. Yeah. Looks and so this, fun. And this is um, just like making root beer, except uh -huh. that I used. Um, raspberry flavoring Perfect. In it and a little time. lemon. And a little, a little lemon because you need some kind of acid in there Got to it. actually uh, give you the flavor that you're expecting. Lori, thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll have all the links to Mad Science, more experiments like this for Valentine's Day on our website, abc4.com slash GMU.